Welcome back, everyone. Um, we're here to uh, talk about the years of service for 20 years for 2020. And we'll start out with Kay Henderson, who's from West High. Um, she said becoming a manager was one of her proudest moments. And she does very well. I can uh, atone to that. And did you know she has a twin and they have the very same first name? So what happens is when you put it in the email, Cicely, Cicely Renee and Cicely Kay, um, and then they're, before she got married, her last name was Scott, so both of them would come up and you just have to pick one or the others and hope you got the right one. Before the email wow. started putting on what school they were from, it got quite confusing. That would be even that would better. Be confusing. Yes, but thankfully Kay has gotten married, so now her name, last name's Henderson, and we don't have to worry about that anymore. And she would like to have the superpower of reading people's minds. And I'm not mm -hmm. sure I'd want to know that. I mean, maybe maybe strategically, like you couldn't. I didn't want to be inundated with everybody's thoughts, but if I could target it, like I, you know, turn it off yeah. and on, maybe. Yeah. Like in a meeting, like this, you know. Yeah. What, you what, are, what am I thinking about right now? Yeah. Or I don't know. <laughs> Even during one of those, you know, those embarrassing interviews that somebody else had before, they could try to see what. Oh yeah. And what? Yeah. What they're looking for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. Very cool. Well, next we have Vonda Armstrong. Uh, Vonda works at the food production center as a sub in the cold production department. Uh, if there were no dress code at work, she says she'd be wearing sweatpants. I agree. Yeah. Uh, very casual. Uh, the thing Vonda looks forward to most in retirement is not wearing a hairnet. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of people feel that way. You yeah, so they don't have to press down on your head and yeah. different things. It's nice seeing people at in service and things because their hair's down and yeah, you know, and some of you never guess how long and stuff it is yeah. or curly or anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, next is Mike Williams. Uh, Mike also works at FPC in the warehouse as a crew person. His proudest moment at work is outlasting some interesting people. What do you suppose that means? I don't know. I wonder which interesting people he may be referring to. We'll have outlasting to here at, at working at FPC or outlasting in life in general? Or? I don't know. Yeah. That's, we'll have to ask him. Yeah. So what see Mike. Give him, a, give him a shout and ask him about that. Well, Mike's unique talent is singing old gospel songs. Yeah, have you ever showcase that talent sometimes? Have well, you ever heard Mike sing? I have. He does. It's beautiful. Mike, you will need to sing for us all someday. If he had a superpower, he would want the power of love because the world needs it bad. Couldn't agree more. To share the love. Yes, absolutely. Well, Rhonda at Northeast is also um, celebrate or also did celebrate her 20 years in 2020. And she would love to go on an African safari. Mm -hmm. That's the first one of those I think we've heard yeah. travel. I How think... exciting and dangerous at the same time. I would love to do that. What kind of animals do you think you'd see? Well, hopefully like tigers and giraffes and rhinos. Yeah. And... What about other tigers in Africa? Hippo. Okay, let's <laughs> split those hairs. <laughs> I'll give you some. Whatever, a wild, big wild cat. Lion. Definitely lion. Um, and she also knows how to break horses. Oh. That, that's something people don't know, but I didn't know that about her. Uh, once again, dangerous and rewarding, just like her safari, so there's a theme going on. Um, she has two granddaughters that play uh, basketball quite well. One is actually playing overseas wow. as a professional overseas, and our youngest is a star at her school. And an interesting fact is that she hopes Bigfoot is real. I don't know why. I would, I'd be afraid to ask. You know, my son thinks that that's real. Well, she hopes it's real. I wonder why. I know. We'll have to. We have so many questions for so many different employees. We asked you so many questions, and we still have so many more. Unanswered. Yes. And an interesting fact about uh, Ron is the manager at Northeast that every single one of the employees at Northeast is receiving a years of service award. Wow. So they, they do five year cycles, I guess. That was really cool. What a great team there. Yes. All right, well now we move on to our folks celebrating 20 years of service in 2021. Uh, we have Maria Fernandez. Maria Fernandez works at the Food Production Center in the custodial department. Uh, something you may not know about Maria is that she scares very easily. Does she scream? Well, I, mean, I think she jumps. 
she gets kind of mm -hmm. jumpy. So one of her coworkers told me that she would just kind of come up behind her and not even trying to scare her, and she would jump. Okay. Uh, so especially, you know, if you're if you're on that dish machine in the morning and mm -hmm. somebody creeps up behind you with a stack of cans, ooh, it can get kind of scary itself. Yeah. Well, and um, another person celebrating their 20 years this year is Brenda from Hadley. Her dream job would be a truck driver. And she said she would use that job to travel all over the U.S. That'd be kind of cool. I mean, okay. you'd have to, a lot of sitting, I think, but you get to see a lot too yes and do you do you all remember that show the witch yes or you guys do and you know how that she would wiggle her nose that's a superpower she wants to be anywhere in a split second hmm. you could you could travel to all the places these people asked um, about wanting to go and she'd just be there lippy split like teleportation yes yes oh that would save me so much time in the morning i can just get to work i don't have to worry about the commute and uh, can you believe she has six grandkids? Wow, lucky wow. her. Yeah, she, she, I wouldn't think, again, that she was old enough to have that many. Yeah. All right, Christy Riley works at Seltzer. Um, Christy is dedicated to Seltzer. Not only does she work for Nutrition Services, but she also works latchkey there. So she must really enjoy her time at that school mm -hmm. with the kids. Fun fact about Christy, Christy won our t-shirt design contest for nutrition services back in 2011. I wonder if she shows off her talents and tries to win again this year. We're having another t-shirt contest. Christy. We are? We are. They sent an email out requesting people submit designs for t-shirts. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. So maybe she'll win again this year and we'll have some wonderful designs for our t-shirt. I don't know what the 2011 t-shirt looks like. Um. I don't recall either. I'll just be honest. I don't recall. I wasn't here in 2011. I wasn't either. So. I was. I've been here forever. Yeah. So. I don't recall. I don't remember. Really 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 anyway. Next we have Vanessa Coleman. She works at East High. And um, she did not send anything in. But I am guessing, totally making this up, that she likes the color green with white stripes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that she can hula hoop. Ooh, I love the hula hoop. Well, sit there and, and do that, that hula hoop thing going on. I can see that about Vanessa. Very good. Um, our next person is Renee Scott. She works at Stucky. She's Kay's sister, who we talked about earlier. First name Cicely and had that whole problem. And she would like to see into the future so she could win the lottery. I don't know if I'd like that seeing into the future. I mean, do you change it like you know you were talking about? You can't really change it because then it changes everything else if you, if you go back to the past. Um, and then if everybody would be able to do that, there'd be nobody working in nutrition services because there'd been one lottery. True. Mm -hmm. So I'd feed them kids. But my favorite response from Renee is what makes her smile. What is that? What makes Renee smile? She said, Handsome men. Oh, well. Handsome men is what makes her smile. So any man out there, <laughs> if Renee's smiling at you, you know why. <laughs> Good to know. Take that as a compliment. Yes. Leanne Schneid works at Cessna uh, and is celebrating her 20 years of service. Something Leanne has never done before is skydive, and that's something she's never done before that she would like to do. That afraid of hikes things, that first mm -hmm. step. Yeah. Um, her favorite restaurant is also Texas Roadhouse, and she wants to travel to Hawaii someday. So, we'll just add her to the group. We'll add her to that group that is going to Texas. There's going to be a group at Texas Roadhouse, I think, too. Yeah, well, they can yeah. go there before they get on the plane to go to Hawaii. Yes, fill up on bread, go to Hawaii, and skydive in Hawaii. Oh, there you go. We see get a group together. Knock it all out. Grace Bliss is also celebrating her 20 years of service. She's been at the school service center. Um, a unique talent of Grace is that she can basically read Julie's mind and guess what Julie's talking about when she, when Julie says, what's her name? Yep, she so can. Typically, any, anybody Julie's talking about is just, you know, what's her face or what's her name? And Grace knows who she's talking about almost every time. It, yeah, it's it's kind of scary. It is, but it is. It's, it's so helpful because none of the rest of us have any idea <laughs> who Julie's talking about. We are definitely going to miss her when she's gone. Yes, for sure. I think... Uh, is today her last day, this Friday? 
I think so. No. Or is it next week? I'm not sure. She's going to be greatly missed, so I'll just tell you. Very much so. And Grace's favorite song is Indestructible. Oh, you know who sings that? Who? Yeah. Disturbed. Mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, she is a big fan of hard rock. Oh, Did yes, you know that? that's true. Yes. All right, well, next we have Sonia Martinez. Uh, Sonia works at the Food Production Center in the Hot Production Department. Uh, one of her most embarrassing moments was getting caught dancing at work by her boss. Oh, how fun, right? Okay. Wouldn't that be fun? That, that shows they're enjoying their job. I mean, yeah. you know. Yeah, we've caught a few dancing very much in the moment. I don't think we have a video of Sonia, but I'll have to watch out for you dancing next time. Uh, something you might not know about her is that she likes to work out. Really? Yeah, so fitness is a big thing for her, so that's awesome. Yeah, that is. And her unique talent is being a good cook. Yeah. Once again, samples, uh, please. Yes, available for sampling. Well, I can say she definitely puts that to use in the hot production department. So she is uh, a great cook for our nutrition services as well as, I'm sure, her home. Well, thanks again to all of you 20 years of service. I'm going to do the 25 years of service for 2020, and um, for that we only have one person, Pat Forbes from Jardine, and her proudest moment was winning the Shining Star Award. I don't remember what year that was, but we had somebody else that, that said that was their uh, yeah, proudest moment. Um, she also has one granddaughter, and to talk to Pat, you would think that granddaughter walks on water. No. And she, she is, you know, her little pride and joy. I say little, she's actually in middle school and, and goes to Jardine. Well, that's oh, where she really fun. enjoys, you that's know, her, her granddaughter still enjoys being there with her. And uh, Pat has some great vacation ideas that she'd like to take some adventure to, like a cruise, Las Vegas, Colorado. All those sounds like a great time. Oh, that, that sounds like a lot of fun. It does. In 2021, we had Sherry Ball celebrate her 25 year. She worked at Dodge Elementary. She got a good Apple Award. It that's the same that's as impressive. Years, but that's a great award. Something you don't know about Sherry is she has a twin. Oh, really? Yeah. We also know of other sets of twins in nutrition services, like we talked about Kay and Renee, um, that, that they share twin Telepathy? How am I saying that? Yeah. You know, telepathy. I wonder, um, is that a thing, Sherry? Do you and your twin share the same thoughts? Um, we're curious. Let us know. Um, Sherry, if Sherry had a superpower, it would be feeding the kids at Dodge. Well, she does that. She wishes she could read the minds of students so she would know how much of each entree she needs to order ahead of time. That oh, would be really handy. Yes, it would right? be for us and them. For us and them. She could read the future of what exactly to order, and she wouldn't have to buffer meals. She would know exactly what kids would pick. Her dream vacation is going to Europe. If you ever want to go to Europe, you can talk to Julie. Yeah, I've been a couple of times. But yeah. That's it for our 25 years of service All awards. Right. Congratulations, Congrats. ladies. Congrats. Well earned. Celebrating 30 years of service, wow, 30 in 2020, yeah. uh, is Joan Van Dyke. Uh, so Joan uh, started working for nutrition services at Enterprise Elementary as a lunch aide. Uh, when we asked her why she applied to nutrition services, uh, she said it was because her youngest son would not stop crying in kindergarten. Uh, so she talked to the principal, um, and the principal asked her if she wanted to work in the kitchen. How cool is that? Aww. Yeah, I bet, I bet we have a lot of those actually. The principal see them there and say, mm -hmm. hey, how about you just work for us? And then you don't have to worry about that issue. Right. Aww. Yeah, so after working at Enterprise, uh, Joan began working at the Food Production Center in the distribution department for about five years. Uh, then she moved to the special diets and salad department back when it was actually called the salad department. Mm -hmm. That's before my time. Mm -hmm. um, now Joan works as a cook for in the hot production department. So her most embarrassing moment at work uh, was falling on the floor while dancing. See, oh. another dancer in FBC. I, I know, man. They always have good music playing, so they really just, you know, they just bebop or it's, yeah, it's whatever. Just, it's just in the group. Do you guys listen to a lot of music in there? We do, every day. 
Uh, Joan looks most forward to traveling in retirement, uh, and her dream vacation is to take her family on a cruise. That sounds like fun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This year, Patricia, Patricia McEwen also is celebrating 30 years of service. She is a food service aide at Lowbridger Elementary. Her most embarrassing moment at work was something we've talked about happening to others. She dropped an entire bag of chili on herself and on the floor, and it was such a mess to clean up. We need to learn something from this about our yes. chili bags. How many does that make that has dropped? I'm telling three, you, it's a rite of passage. Three, three chili and one cheese? Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's just a rite of passage for whatever cheese. happens. Uh, her proudest moment of, at work is hearing praise from the kids. One student even told her that they wanted to work with her when they grew up, and it just melts Aww. her heart. So, that is so sweet. she's making an impact on our students for sure. Definitely. Absolutely. Congratulations on 30 years of service. Congrats.